Today I'll show you how I paint this beautiful hooded oriole using oil paint and oil pastel. Hi, today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful painting and it all began with a charcoal drawing on canvas which is here and I did create a video and how to seal your charcoal drawing on the canvas and I will link that in the description area below this video as well as at the end of this video. So when I created this painting I used several different oil painting techniques glazing, palette knife work, brush work, and I even used oil pastel, which you can see in the line work around the bird. So let's begin the process. The first step is to paint using an oil glaze. Since the charcoal is sealed to the canvas, it won't darken or muddy the oil paint. And the established gray tones will add immediate interest and depth to the finished painting. Today I'll be using the Galkid Light as my glazing medium. The initial stage of the painting is using the glazing, which is like a light wash of color. And because there's so much indolating tones of gray underneath the paint, it really adds interest right from the very start. I really love this process. So now I am establishing some of the darks using opaque color. I actually do complete this painting in three different painting sessions. And as you'll see as the painting develops, I add more opaque, thicker paint and mark making with the oil pastels. I now let the painting dry overnight and I began my painting session by applying Galka gel very thinly to the surface of the canvas. Now I'm going to check the color of my paint with my photo reference. Today I'm painting this hooded oriole because I actually really am fond of this bird. We get to see them every summer as they build nests in the trees in our yard and raise their little fledglings. And we've actually even seen them teach them how to fly. Both the male and female take care of the babies and feed them and they work really hard. And I'm always amazed at how fast they fly. They dart in and out. You can barely see them until they briefly land. And then you, <laughs> you're lucky if you get to see them more than a minute and off they go again. As I build the color, I lay each color down almost as if it's a tile of color. And then I can go back in a little later on in my painting session and blend the edges together. And I find this to be a really effective way in building up the paint. As I apply the paint with the palette knife, you can see it's a soft tapping motion. And the reason for this is I do not want to disturb the paint underneath. I'm just adding more paint on top. I hope you're finding this video informative and helpful. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please just leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you.
I love using oil pastel. It has a beautiful mark making effect to the finished painting and it is 100% compatible with the oil paint and your final varnish. As you may have guessed, I did add a few more colors to my palette as this painting's been developed. I did add burnt umber and ultramarine blue, as well as cerulean blue. I find when you combine different shades of blue with different shades of yellow, you'll get different shades of green. And to darken the orange or the green, you can try using purple. I find that very effective. And for desaturating, it's always a good idea to add the complementary color. And now I'm adding a little more paint and accentuating the highlights. <music> 